I'm going to be doing a bit of a social experiment. So I have got my um, concealer and my foundation on and I now just need to pop some powder on. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a different one to have used in the last video. Um, just this one. And then I will explain what I am doing. So this is just the um, chocolate, banana, chocolate, chocolate, banana. Um, powder, which is very orange on me. On, I'm just gonna do it on half of my face, even though I've just dabbed it on that side. I'm just gonna blend that out. Mm, can't even see on my face. There we go. And then. On the other side of my face, I'm going to put, because that one's quite orange, I was kind of hoping it would still be translucent, but it's not. I'm going to put the peach one I've also got on this side and just test out these makeup products. Right, so, I have done my mum and my brother's makeup today. Um, you've seen me do Riley's, you haven't seen me do my mum's because I didn't film it. Um, it was just a bit of fun for us. So, I have got the two new palettes. I did the avocado on mum this morning and I did popcorn just now. I will insert a picture of my mum and then a picture of Riley um, here. So, I have just put the banana chocolate on this side of my face just to see if it sets any differently to the peach and from first looks it hasn't I haven't looked at the mirror up close yet but I can see straight off the bat this side is more orange and I kind of was expecting that because if you look at the colours of the powder this one is more yellowy orange and this one is more peachy um, so it doesn't actually show you a picture of the powder on the website so I would never have known that this was too yellow for my skin so I now have two powders and I can only really use one of them because this side of my face it looks cakey but this side is just orange and that is quite annoying and I don't know if that's because I use so much and if I use a brush it'd be different also when I just squinted then to look at myself you can see all of my creases on both sides now you don't normally get that with my powder and I am being brutally honest here this is basically as you can see by the title up here this is a brutally honest um, makeup revolution tutorial um, just video I'm just being brutally honest review I use this is a revolution palette I use this all the time I had um, a shade on from I think it was this palette yeah, I had this shade on this morning um, in my normal makeup, which you can see in the video with Riley. And I didn't have any issues with fallout. Um, since then, I have used these two palettes on my family members. I used this one on my mum this morning and there was a lot of fallout. So that's that palette. I used this one on Riley earlier. And there was a lot of fallout. There was not meant to be any blue under his eyes. It was only meant to be on his eyelids. Now, I am basically doing kind of a social experiment today or this afternoon so that you can see what I mean. So this is the palette that I've just used on Riley. I literally used two shades. I used theatre down the bottom and stack at the top. Now, I'm going to use those two same colours with the same base, exactly the same as I did with Riley, and just see if it is that I'm doing it on somebody else and not on myself, or if it is just the eyeshadow. So I'm putting on a layer of concealer from this palette on both of my eyes. Um, probably shouldn't use that brush actually, because it's got blue on it from trying to sort out Riley's eyes. Ooh, 
Now, firstly, I'm going to dip into the avocado palette, um, tasty avocado palette, and I'm going to put on the base layer that I used, which is on both of these people, I used creamy. Um, so I'm just going to grab that on my brush and I'm going to put it on the eyelid. And now straight away, look how much fallout is in that pan. It's not focusing, but you can see there is so much fallout. And that was just from a little bit like that. There was a ton of fallout and there should not be that much fallout at all so look i can literally just do this and there's fallout i'll just pop that on my eye now i'm going to use the same brush in this palette on the shade that i used this morning i'm not going to put it on my eye or anything but there is not and I'm pushing harder. There's not half as much fallout and there is more pigment on that um, palette. I don't understand why that is because it's the same company, Makeup Revolution, except one calls themselves I Heart Revolution and one is just Revolution, Makeup Revolution London. Okay, so these are this, this is the same company. You can buy these off of the same website at the same shops. I got this one from Superdrug, I got this one off of the Revolution UK website and there is so much fallout in this palette. So I'm going to do this one first on this side and then the avocado on this side and you can see how much fallout there is for yourself. So I'm going to dip straight into shade Theatre and I'm going to put that as um, all over the eyelid. Now with Mum and Riley I did actually put a tissue under their eye because the fallout was getting way too much. Look, just doing that, there's like, I don't think you can see that on camera, there was powder everywhere then. Literally like caking my bedroom in powder. I'm gonna go from having a gray room to a blue room. Now, off first impressions, there is, oh my God, just top my brush. There is so much less fallout than there was this morning. And I did that with all of them. I wiped under their eyes straight after, which is what I always do when I do my makeup. Um, on and off camera, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I even realize I'm doing it. So that that's the base color. It's not clinging to the middle of the eye here. Um, and it didn't with Riley's either, weirdly. Um, look at the pigment, it's so good. So I'm just gonna use my pinky finger and rub that in. Now this, I didn't put any on the inside corner of my eye there, so I don't understand how or why that is there, because I don't want it there. It's better. Um, now I'm going to get a different brush and I'm going to dip into shade Snack, which is exactly the same as what I did with Riley. I just put that on the inner corner here. Now there wasn't as much fallout then either as there was in Riley's makeup. I need to get a blending brush. It's the same one I used this morning on Mum to blend. Might be a bit green. It's okay. There is so much less fallout right now and it's actually annoying. I'm just going to get a little bit of concealer so that I can try and stick or pack it in on the, cor the corner of the inside of my eye because now it just looks like there is nothing there when there is. I'm just going to go back into theatre and pop it on there and then get a blending brush and just blend the two in together. And that is all I'm going to do there. I've just realised I've not actually done like anything else with my face. I've just left it. It's fine. Now, I've just wiped that as I did the first time. Look how much pigment there is actually under my eye. It's not even on my eye. Let me just go and take a picture and insert the picture and you can see what I mean. I just want to say excuse my eyebrows in that. I didn't realise there was so much hair underneath them. Um... I will have to sort that out later. 
So that is the Tasty Popcorn oh, Yummy Sweet Tasty Popcorn Palette by I Heart Revolution. And now I'm going to go into the Avocado Palette, also Makeup Revolution. I'm just going to get a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into Guacamole, which is the same one. I've just blown that, by the way. Same one I used on Mum this morning, which I just put all over the lid. Now this straight away is holding onto the skin better, but is in, oh it's just going in my eye. There is powder down here on my cheek, if you can see that, it is going everywhere. Now you shouldn't have to wipe your eyes after every single time you put a little bit of powder on them. That should have, um, that shouldn't matter. I need to go and get my mum's brush quickly because that's the one I used this morning. I'll be right. So I've got mum's flat brush and this is the smaller one. I'm just going to dip into smoothie like I did this morning. Um, and then I put that. Oh, look at the pigment. That's so good on a black brush. Oh, I just put the mirror down. I'm going to put that across the baseline of my eye. Now, that didn't actually do too badly, um, but it did this morning. And when I say it did this morning, I promise you it was not looking like this. Now, these are the two looks that I have done today. And then we've put on mascara and we got going with our days. There is pigment in this little crease in my eye all down the bottom and when I take pictures on my camera um you'll see like it'll be like a blue or green sheen um you'll see it in a minute I'll show you in some photos again of mum and Riley compared to my eyes um now Riley was a little bit more annoyed than mum was obviously because mum's fine with her makeup being done riley is okay with his makeup being done he just doesn't like it to take too long and it did take a while so the video that you're gonna see is very edited down compared to what it actually was when we filmed it we filmed for probably about 40 45 minutes maybe more um by the end he was getting agitated he just kind of sat there and was like cool i'm here what um so yeah so i'm gonna leave this as it is this side is peach and avocado this side is popcorn and chocolate banana i'm gonna take some more photos i'm gonna insert them in and then i want you to tell me what you think compared to the pictures i'm gonna put afterwards of mum and riley's eyeshadows so ignore like don't ignore but like excuse the picture of riley um he was very knocked off at that time and he went straight into the bathroom after that and washed it off. And these pictures um can show the fallout that is in on one of my eyes i couldn't even see it up here i think it was the green eye um you can just you can see everything you can see every little crease in my eyes when i squint and it's not my favorite right now um i will grow to love it i expect and i have got the chocolate palette coming so i'm hoping that the chocolate palette is hopefully going to be more like this palette because there is barely any fallout and the pigment is brilliant not saying the pigment's not good because like it's gorgeous still, it's just not my favourite. So I'm going to go and take this off of my face. Um, let me know what you think. Just let me know what you think, just let me know. Just speak to me in the comments, tell me everything. I need to know if this is just me being crazy or if anybody else has experienced this. Um, gonna go and watch some videos now and just see if anybody else has had these problems with these palettes. The palettes themselves are really cute, but I think sometimes the look of the palette the packaging can 
um, kind of change your views of the palette. So I saw this and I was like, oh my god, that's so cute, I really want it. And then I opened, like, I saw it on the website, I looked at this and I was like, right, cool, the shades are really cute. I never watched or read or looked at any kind of review for this palette, I just bought it. And the same goes with the chocolate palettes and the avocado and I've never watched a video on any of the I Heart Revolution palettes. I have watched videos on this palette and or on ones similar to this, um, on the maxi ones and on the mini like littler ones like this. I've watched videos on things like this all the time, the, all the reloaded palettes. So I'm going to go and watch some videos and just see if other people are seeing the same things. Also, look at the orange. You can't even see it in this light. Right, let's turn off my beauty light and see. This side, okay, you can see it now. Orange, not orange. Now that is because of the powders. Um, you can see on this cheek the um, chocolate banana palette as well, palette powder as well as the peach because I did put one puff in the middle. You can see that in the photo. Um, take another look. So yeah, um, now I bet you're bored of hearing me ramble on, um, thank you very much for watching, speak to me in the comments below, let me know what is going on with this because this has really stressed me out today, um, thanks for watching and dealing with me and I'll see you all soon with the chocolate palette, bye!